This is Travis here with Fisher Hex. Appreciate you stopping in. Today we're going to talk about the KZ Coral System and the Red Sea Color Program. As you guys know, I recently went back to the Red Sea Color Program after using the KZ Coral System for four months. Now, in this video, we're going to go into detail why I did that. But before we do that, let me put a little disclaimer out there for you guys. Everything I mentioned in this video is my personal opinion based on how I like to run my reef tank, my current situation, and my budget. So with that being said, let's get into it. I started the KZ Coral System on June 20th. Right now it's October 19th, so we are one day short of being four months. Now when I originally started this product, I was only dosing once per week manually, and that was 25 milliliters based off my total water volume on my reef tank. Now I emailed KZ and asked them if I could dose a daily amount because it just seems to make more sense. Plus I can put it on my uh, JBO DP4 dosing pump and really not have to worry about it. It just takes care of itself. Now they emailed me back and said, yes, that's fine. You can go ahead and dose a daily amount, basically adding up to the total amount per week. So uh, I chose to dose four milliliters per day because that made sense based on my water volume. And um, it just kind of, you know, I set it and forget it and continued on with my life. Now, over the last four months, I definitely changed some things with this reef tank that could have impacted the performance of this product. I added the frag system, which then I replaced it with the display refugium per your guys' request. I added several marine pier blocks. I even added a UV sterilizer. Now, all these things have their own impact on the reef tank, so uh, it's not to say that it didn't negatively impact the results, but at the end of the day, guys, the tank growth and color is exactly the way it was with the Red Sea Color Program after using this product for four months. So with that being said, you guys know that my channel is based on building a successful reef for the minimal amount of money. Now that's why I do a lot of DIY projects, use a lot of off-brand equipment, just to show you that you can still be successful, have a thriving reef without having to spend three times the amount of money. So when it comes to the KZ Coral System's performance in my particular reef tank and situation, the performance just doesn't justify the price. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you guys. You can go to bulkresupply.com right now and buy their 500 milliliter bottles for $125, or you can buy the same amount of the Red Sea Color Program for under $50 retail. So in my eyes, why would I spend almost three times as much to get the same results? One more thing I want to mention regarding the 500 milliliter bottles of both of these products is the dosing. Now with the KZ Coral System, I was only getting 18 weeks based on 4 milliliters per day. And with the Red Sea Color Program, I was getting 24 weeks based on 3 milliliters a day. So if I can get more weeks for less price and with the same results, that's just one more reason to go back to the Red Sea Color Program. One thing I want everyone to understand is you do not need either one of these products to be successful in this hobby. You just don't. What you need to focus on is the basics. Once you master stable and consistent calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, temperature, salinity levels, try to keep your pH elevated as much as possible, and then, you know, of course, have proper lighting spectrum over your reef tank, you will have a successful reef. That's just how it is. It's that simple. Now, obviously, there's other aspects to it with nutrient control, filtration, equipment. Now, if you can get the basics down, you will have a thriving reef tank, guaranteed. Now, what happens in this hobby is some of us who have mastered those or have been in this hobby for so long, just the basics aren't enough for us to get our fix. I keep put quotations up here, our so-called fix or our thrill from the, the hobby. We want to try new things, and that's where this color programs and stuff like that come into play is where we want to try new things to see if we can get better growth and color than we had previously. That's just how it is. You grow with the hobby, so you want to try new things. But just keep that in mind. You will be successful if you do the basics, and don't expect – this product or any other product to fix your issues if you can't do those basic things. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm not here to bash any products. I'm not here to talk negatively on anyone or anything. I just wanted to put my opinion out there based on my situation. Now, if this product works great for you and you could financially keep it going, that's awesome. Keep using it. My situation, I just can't do it. And, uh, you know, everybody's life and reef tank is different. So uh, we all need to make what works best for us. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have good results with this product, feel free to let me know. I definitely uh, would like to see some before and afters. If you have them, post a video here on YouTube and put the link below. Uh, I definitely want to see what other people are getting from this product. Now, if there's another product out there, I've definitely had some recommendations uh, to try different things to see how they're going. But at this point, guys, the reef tank is going to be uh, taken down in about nine months. So I'm going to enjoy my reef tank uh, for the next nine months. That means I'm not going to frag it. I'm just going to let it grow out, let coral take care of itself, and I'm going to just continue dosing the way I am and uh, use the same products that I'm using. There's no uh, big changes to this reef tank that are going to happen between now and when I break it down. Um, because basically, guys, uh, this is it, man. When this thing's taken down, it's never going to be up again. I'm never going to have a reef tank that looks like this again. I'm never going to have um, this particular setup. So I just want to enjoy it while I have it. And then when we get the 300-plus gallon tank going, we will start our adventure out then. 
try new products, try new equipment, and see how things work. All right, guys. So either way, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs up anyways. Uh, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.